Uh, right, so first of all, apologies for not uploading. It's been like a week and a bit or maybe two. Uh, honestly, I'm not going to upload for the sake of it, you know. If there is not something to make a video about, I'm not going to make a video on it. Um, yeah, so there's that. Uh, also, there's a forum little rant at the end. Uh, basically, that's just like random posts on the forums I've collected over the past few months. That are really just makes your head hurt. Uh, also, thank you for 600 subs. I know we hit that, although I haven't been uploading. So, yeah, I appreciate that. Um, so, I'll talk about the gear event and all that stuff right now. So, the gear event, uh, well, I suppose you could call it a gear event, but I, I definitely would not. So, you got three roadmaps. you got the crap one up here. I would not recommend anyone touching it. I know Pam could be used on it, but uh, like I guessed before, um, they nerfed it. Once people started talking about it, they got nerfed, you know. Uh, personally, I didn't care enough to do it. I have Pam, but I just didn't feel the need to do it. Like, I just didn't care enough, to be honest. I wanted to save my leaves. Um, then you got the good map down here. Now, I did that because I had 11 leaves, and I don't think I'm going to get 40 by the end of the event without spending a stupid amount of money. So I'd rather not. Like, I, I, I would spend a bit, but, like, it's not even a good amount of gear you're getting for what you're spending, so it's just better me saving it. Um, so what you got in there was your, like, your standard gear, you got two hand crank radios, two, uh, or, uh, whatever the other gear is, and then you got two of each, uh, gear section thing. Now, I used 50, uh, 30 tokens, uh, because I had loads of leaves, like, I, I got really lucky with pools. Um, I used 30 on their last roadmap, which is supposedly farmable, and all I got was ones of, uh, the, whatever, the, uh, dessert, or whatever you call it, and, um, one piece of actual gear, so, I would not recommend farming it, because it's absolute shite, um, also, the way you get these yellow leaves are absolutely fucking stupid, like, so you can get it through the green maple leaves, you get 200 a day, uh, for free, but, look, 1, 10, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 10, 15, this is like, Bit of a piss take, in it. Bit of a fucking piss take. And then, what, what do you do for the... To get the 200, right? Two of any refill. That's stupid. That's just wasting resources. You know, I, I'm not going to do that. Because I haven't got a lot of world energy to spare. I'm not going to pop a raid. I'm not going to pop a territory either, so... I'm not doing that. Um, I might send a three star, but... That's only if I absolutely have to, because I don't like wasting my time doing that. Five pieces of elite gear is reasonable, but I'm not leveling up so I can use that. So, no. Uh, two pieces of epic gear, definitely not. And two pieces of legendary gear, no. No, 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 thank you. Like, you're spending gear to get less gear back. Well, technically, you get a little bit more, if you depending on what roadmap you do. But uh, I wouldn't do that if I was you. Obviously, Survivor's Club gets uh, double the thing, so they don't have to do that. But still... I, I would not do that if I was you. It just seems like a bit of a piss take. Also, like, I mean, the wheel's what it is, but, like, the amount of leaves you need to actually go through is actually pretty insane. Like, that's 6,000. That's probably 18,000 to go through at all. Because, uh, is it? Okay, no, it's, it's cheaper at this end, but, you know what I mean? It's really expensive. Even if you were to, like, spend a little bit of money, it's just not worth it, like... It's not worth it, in my opinion. Like, yeah, you can get it from maple leaves, but yeah, it's just not worth it. Like, what they needed to make this event good was the Nugget event. If you were around when the Nugget event was around, you know how good it was. Basically, if you don't know, it was an event where basically every, uh, uh what do you call it, competition in the game had Nuggets as a reward. So whether you placed first or 800th, whatever you got nuggets and each set of gear was given a certain price and there was a character so you could literally pick what gear you wanted and how much of a quantity you wanted it in and just buy it like that but in this event like you're spending let's say you're spending 40 quid you get a couple goes on the um legendary one right because you need the two green leaves you're only getting i think i don't know how many you think it is but you're not getting enough to uh tier four someone and 
to be honest, you've got 15 minutes to do it. And it's not that easy, to be honest. Like, yeah, you can use battle items to an extent, but it's, it's not easy. You know what I mean? So, overall, I give the event a shit out of shit. Um, what I am looking forward to is the Christmas event. Now, uh, I think if I remember this correctly, last Christmas event was uh, like Christmas tokens or something. And it was a five star, six star will. And there, everything in there was ascendable. I think you had Christmas Shiva, you had uh, Christmas uh, Richard, I think it was. Uh, you had Chris, no, you had Michonne, the Sarm. You had Dante, you had Mackenzie, and all that. Like, that was a really solid wheel. Like, it was mostly defensive, but it was a solid wheel for sure. Like, I spent, I, I, I'm not going to say how much I spent on extra pools, but I spent a decent amount on extra pools last year. So I'm hoping Scopely keeps to that and just has a purely ascendable wheel. Maybe with some S-Class shards thrown in, nothing else. Because I know for a fact it's going to piss a lot of people off if they do must like if they do mess around with it and make it like a fucking obstacle course, people aren't going to be happy, especially with this. So I guess we'll find out sooner or later when they announce it, if they announce it. If they don't, I'll be very fucking surprised, but hey, you never know. Um... So yeah, next one to the forum section of the video. This is a random post that I, I feel I should comment on because it's pretty funny. So uh, yeah, enjoy that. Uh, War weekend is this weekend. It's 8v8, I think, for me. So should have some more videos out. If not, I'll let's just put out any war video at this point. <laughs> All right, so peace out, boys. Uh, enjoy the forum section. Okay, with this post, your players want buy it and pay back, scopely. So basically, this post is... um Obviously, I hid the name because... You know, just in case. Uh, it's getting ridiculous the amount of Biden payback characters we're facing while we don't even have one piece. Where's the balance and challenge you're talking about? Everyone should at least have one piece of every OP tune. Watch out, this game is going to end. Right. So first of all, if everyone has an OP tune, the tune loses its OP-ness, if you get what I mean. If everyone has it, there's, it's not unique and it's essentially not overpowered because everyone's got the same thing. So it sort of counteracts each other, you know what I mean? Also, Bide and Payback are purely defensive characters. If you can't beat them on defense, what good would having one have for you? Yes, your defense gets better. It doesn't help you beat the character. You need offensive characters, right? And another thing, Bide and Payback are premium for a reason. They are really nasty. Like, those two are probably the probably best specialists in the game, you know, for defense at least. And... It's just not sensible for people to ask for it. You know, you know you're not going to get it, so why ask? It's premium for a reason. It's really strong. And that's where Scopely is going to make a good amount of money from. Also, the game is never going to end prop Never going to end anytime soon. People have always been saying, oh, it's going to end, it's going to end. When Six Stars came out, it's going to end. Five Star Weapons, it's going to end. No, it's, it's not going to end. There will always be people playing the game. No matter how frustrated you get, people will always come back. Whether you come back in a week, two weeks, a month, a year. People always come back to the game. It's, it's, it's sort of like a, a weird addiction. Like, when you wake up, you check your phone. You, you, you might check line. You might check uh, the game. It's just like a, a routine. You It's hard to break a routine. Also, the only way the game is going to end is if Scopely pulls the plug. That's, that's my honest opinion. And, yeah. If you want balancing in the game, ask for offensive characters. Because defensive characters will not do you any good. You can defend all you want, but if you can't attack, you're pretty much useless. Uh, that's my little rant on that, so, um, yeah. Okay, another thing about the, um, the forums, um, if you quit, like I said in this post, don't, don't put it down, you know, if you're unhappy with the game, fair enough, leave the game. No one needs to know that you're quitting the game. You, like, m most of the time, people say, oh, I'm quitting the game, I can't do it anymore, I refuse to play. Guess what, in a week... They'll post something about, oh, why isn't this thing in the game working properly? So you you said you're making, you're quitting, you make such a big fucking deal about it. And then, like, a week later, you're still posting about the game. It's like, you didn't really quit, you just want attention. Just fucking stop, you know what I mean? Uh, on to the next post. Alright, so here we go, next post. Uh, I'll basically sum this one up since it's a long one. Uh, they're asking for an extension on the raid timer. I think it's about three minutes now. And the same, because of all the, uh, like, S-Class, the Veteran Rings, HP mods, defense mods, all that, 
uh, you should have an extended time on the raids, right? Now, they're saying they don't want an infinite time, but they want 10 minutes so they can implement a strategy. The whole point of raiding. Now, I'm not being funny, but if it takes you 10 fucking minutes to win, you do not deserve to win. Now, if you want to practice your defense or attack, there's something called a friendly raids, right? So you practice on a teammate until you get fast enough, and then you try to get trade against bots and uh, other real players, right? Mm. So 10 minutes. Like, you don't deserve to win if it takes you 10 minutes to win, right? Another thing, with attack, right? If you can't beat a team fast, you're losing. If it takes you 3 minutes to attack, and you've got all your people up because you've got, like, an auto-bleed team or something... And, like, it takes you, like, th the full amount of time to beat it. You, you've you lost. Like, because people will attack faster. And in war, raids, and all that, speed is key. Three minutes is more than enough to get in a raid and move on. Like, in three minutes, I can probably do four attacks pretty easily. But, yeah. You just got to, you know, practice on friendly duels and all that. But ten minutes! minutes fucking hell and no not a lot of people have been asking for a red extension because it is fair you you're clearly not very good if it takes you if you can't be a team in three minutes right so in other words just practice honestly stupid no one needs to know that on the forums it's really a stupid post next post okay so this next little one is um saying they're going to quit the game because of the reload bugs and they're losing energy. One, that's just stupid. No one needs to know you're quitting. If you're going to quit, quit in peace. Uh, this is about the territory events. They they help the strong factions mainly. Yes. Um, many, fa many, many members that need the territories, blah, blah, blah. Right, so here's my thing with the territory event, right? I hear loads who are saying, oh, get rid of it. But you've got to think, if it's a 20, well, if it's like a one day, eight hour one, like it normally is, you've got to think about it like this. Even if there's five territories and the big faction own three, and the defenses they have in there are insanely strong, you can pick them out one by one, unless they want to pay heavily with coins, right? And it's the thing, if they've held it the entire time and you're going to get it the last, let's say two hours, it's going to be at minus 600. That means once you get rid of one character, that's it, they're gone. The, the whole dur the old durability is gone. And if you're smart, like the big factions are, you get a group together, you, you sort which which people are going to which territory and what teams are going and where. And that's how you get the territories. That's why the big factions are beating the little ones. Not purely because of strength, although that is a big factor. It's because they're smart. They plan ahead. They're like, okay, which territories do we need? We need this one, this one, and this one. Okay, Team A, you go here. Team B, you go here. Team C, you go here. If you want any extra, Team D, you go here. And if we have to, Team C goes to Team B. It's like simple. You've got to plan for this thing. It's like with raids. You've got to plan enough time so you can get a high enough score to beat the other people. It's simple as that. Okay, so I think that's going to be the end of the video. It's already past 10 minutes. Um, I don't really think anyone's going to watch a video past 10 minutes. Um, also, thank you on 600 subs. I appreciate it. Uh, only 400 more into a to a grand so that's uh that's great um but yeah i'll try and go on about war because you know <laughs> i haven't had a war video in a very long time so i'll i'll definitely get a war one out uh this weekend if there is war uh but until then uh peace boys and uh enjoy the rest of your weekend and all that